Welcome back to Let's Play Assassin's Creed Rogue. Yeah. Where we left off is we saved the natives. We just got done saving the natives and saving the uh, French army. Or British army. British army, I mean. We got done saving them and to help us with the fight against uh, Kazarak. Uh, now we gotta go back and do something else. I have no idea what we're doing next. So let's get back to Assassin's Creed Road. Alright. Where do we need to go? Let's see here. We need to go all the way down here. Jeez. Let's faster try to how but we get to one way or another. <laughs> shit now. Too late. No. Fort Fredericks is nearby. I'm sure the colonel can hold it. You heard the captain, lads. Make haste. There's no pots of wood. Loose topsails, gallants and royals. Yeah. 
I even got to the fiddle gun, they already all died. But how in the war monsters do you even go against something like that? That was too fast. Front doors wasn't open, so I couldn't do all the way around the corner. Oh wait, there was open. I feel stupid now. Take a watch's work, isn't it? I believe it is. But I've not yet seen the devil. The manuscript. You keep it safe. Bring it to the Morrigan. That's an order. Were you to give me orders? I outrank you. I'm not part of your army, Colonel. I'll take care of the defenses until you get back. Take a watch, then. Believe you can best me, traitor. Yeah. Uh, Templar dog. Get down. You truly believe you can best me, traitor. Templar dog. How did the dog slip me through? Trained you well, traitor! Kisigawase! It didn't have to be this way! It did! You are an enemy! Achilles will see you dead! What he's doing is wrong! Who are you to touch? The Templars will fail! You will fail! Monroe is already dead! What do you mean? Dang. Uh, dang. <laughs> I really don't know what to say about that except for, you know. Dang. Okay. Now I'm gonna go and uh, save Monroe, apparently. 
died in my arms. I'm upset. Now he shall pay. Holy. Looks like, looks like a point nowhere there. Uh, so I guess I'm So, yeah, we need to go over here in a sec. So let's keep going over there. Not very happy about this guy down here. Should have killed my best friend. Very upset. Shay, but uh, oh, what's this? Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order and all that for which we stand? I do, and never to share our secrets or divulge the true nature of our work. I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost, I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. You are now a Templar, harbinger of a new world. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May, May the, the Father, Father of, of understanding, understanding guide us. Guide us.
Okay, the Father's understanding to guide us. Do you understand now? I'm starting to see why you're so interested in Jake Cormack. has seen the true face of the world, and he has chosen his path accordingly. A similar choice will soon present itself to you. Huh? I did not think you'd get this far, <laughs> but you seem to be on the right track. We still can't access the servers in the basement, but there's another one located at the top of the building near Melanie's office. That's your next stop. Okay. I'm bored of myself. But orders are orders, and my orders are to stand right here. If you work hard for me, I will reward you appropriately. Oh. Just gonna get a roar through the three thorns and then get back to the uh -huh. We need to unlock the next server, Numskull. I'm getting there. This office used to belong to a man named Olivier Garneau. He was my predecessor as chief creative officer of Abstergo Entertainment. Otto Berg is a representative from our parent company, Abstergo Industries. He's showing you the true history of the world, just like they showed me. Olivier was kind, he was intelligent and passionate about our work, but a year ago, he caught a glimpse of this truth. They never found his body. This is not the way we normally bring people up to speed on these matters, but you worked hard and are proving yourself, so I'm granting you level two security access. The servers on this floor should unlock more of Shay's memories. Wait, 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 wait. I was here last year too, so. I was the one that would do that. Oh, Alright, see that poster came from me because I was the one that did the black flag. Thank you. 
if I put you back to work and then they did. the computer. I finally found it after all this time. Oh, man. Oh. oh, really? Saved Baptiste from slavery and inducted him into his so called brotherhood. Macandal was a vicious mentor, and in his desperate attempt to liberate slaves, he broke his own creed by indiscriminately killing nobles. Misguided as they are, some assassins are honorable. Macandal was not one of them. Thanks to the calculating genius of Madeleine de Ville, the Templars made an example of Macandal by way of public execution in 1758. His pathetic excuse for a brotherhood quickly fell apart. When his comrade and childhood friend Agate fled to Louisiana, Baptiste saw the futility of his former life in Macandale's brotherhood. Madeleine saw Baptiste's potential and instructed her Templars in New Orleans to strike a deal with him. If he could draw Agate out of hiding and eliminate him, he would be granted a place in the Templar order. Although Baptiste was killed by the assassin Abbé de Cochet, his path clearly demonstrates the inherent superiority of Templar ideals over assassin terrorism. Crazy, crazy stuff. Back to life and put you back to work. 
Alright, right, back in we go. <laughs> Shit! What's happening? Another glitch? Same one as before. Chase back and notch it down. See if you can complete the memory this time. Okay. Franklin was the American ambassador to France. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Otto Berg, professional killer and amateur historian. You should not have left your backwater colony. Why, I'll turn a bus done. In Philadelphia, actually. So, so, he's a comedian. Shay? Is that you? Ah, how long has it been? Uh, where are my manners? Thank you, my friend, thank you. But what are you doing in Paris? With all due respect, sir, this is no time to talk. You're still in danger. Yes, I... I must return to my family. <clears throat> this seems awfully really hard. I just want to make sure my family is safe. I make my own look, Master Franklin, as I suspect you do. Yes, indeed, my good fellow. Yet, without your assistance today... Well, 
You have my thanks, Shay. Is there anything I can do for you to repay you for this uh, kindness? Actually, there is. I need to meet a business acquaintance. I heard he would be at the Chateau de Versailles two days from now. And they don't just let anyone inside the royal palace. Very well. I'll see what can be arranged. <laughs> Keep trying to sequence memories out of order, which is why we're crashing like this. What do you suggest? If we progress further with Shay's life in the colonies, I'm confident we can get better results from these Paris memories. Very well. Keep me informed. Uploading the next memory sequence now. Shay Cormac, I hear you are the Templar's new don of precursor archaeology. I'm no expert, sir. I just witnessed what the assassins can do with those damn sites. I have spent years investigating precursor leads. Tell me what you've seen. Well, I know both the assassins and Templars are looking for pieces of Eden. Powerful weapons, mind control and apples, but this time it's different. We haven't found an apple, but tree. These temples hold the earth together like roots. Disturb them and Haiti falls or Lisbon or any other place the manuscript shows. And the assassins are blindly interfering with these structures. Aye. And if we don't stop them, they'll continue destroying cities. I see. We have intelligence of assassin activity in the Lübeberg Fortress. We'll be meeting with a Royal Navy officer, James Cook. He recently gained a commission that could be strategically valuable. Gist has the chart. Very well. I'll depart shortly. Colonel Monroe spoke highly of you, Shay. He was convinced you could become the best among us. I expect he will not disappoint. I don't plan to, sir. Paris was fun. Uh, that was some good stuff right there that we just saw. Uh, apparently, um, King Edward Payton, uh, Grandmaster Temple, Templar, uh, to find a piece of eating in these temples in the manuscript and stuff. This is going to be one heck of a ride for the final two sequences that we are about to encounter. And the last Yes. Do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Tanya? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. Duly noticed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really you know, Sounds like a truck. Sure, to the point where Louisbourg could be a linchpin in the war. If the Royal Navy can take that fort, it'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. Then on to Quebec and Montreal. The tide is turning. General Wolfe will give that craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damn continent. I fear we'll take more than that, friend. Some evening I will tell tales about this voyage around a warm fire. This thing would be perfect. True. Alright. So let's see where we need to go. 
Grant, you got way up. Okay. Okay. We're gonna fast travel over here for right now and land at this little spot so they can save. That is some good stuff. The tide is. Do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in coming? Okay, so I don't know why it's repeating the same spell. But the next video, uh, the beginning, that will not be in it. So, there's that. Um, well, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, this has been the Let's Play uh, Assassin's Creed Road. And. Like I said, thanks for watching, and subscribe, like, whatever you feel like doing. Um, think, see you next time. Bye, bye.